Canadian comic DJ Demers has made millions laugh with his appearances on The Tonight Show, America's Got Talent, and Conan. And now he's showing up on Canadian screens with his own TV show. Here's a preview of One More Time. You always keep a second pair? Five second delay before they come on. Oh, of course. Right. You always keep a and second pair? A little pair. song. Uh. <laughs> this show is a hilarious take on workplace in a small town. It is also the first Canadian TV series with a lead character who's deaf or hard of hearing. And DJ Demers stars in the show. We're thrilled to have him in studio off a late night uh, tour last night. So thanks so much for being here today. Oh, thank you for having me, yeah. Um, a line that you know fans will know that you often use in your comedy shows is that you're bad at being deaf. What does that mean? Well, it just means I wear hearing aids, but uh, when I take them out, I'm like very deaf, but I, I don't know sign language at all. So I'm not capable of communicating with them out. And then with them in, I can't hear as well as other people. So. I like to call myself a daywalker. I'm kind of in this middle ground where I don't really know where I belong, but, but I get by. Yeah, I make it work. You describe that uh, being in this middle space of not being fully deaf, but you know, also using uh, hearing aids. At what point did you decide you wanted to use that as part of your comedy? Because you avoided it at first. Uh, yeah, I mean, in the beginning, when I first started stand up, you're just trying to figure out how to be funny. And for me, I was like trying to make sure that it, the hearing aids weren't this like gimmick that I was leaning on from the get go. But then very quickly, I, I felt comfortable on stage. And then you go, well, this is a really unique thing. And there is a lot of material here. So I got pretty comfortable with it after the first few months. But I just had to make sure that I felt comfortable and, and uh, I wasn't using it in a way that didn't feel funny. Yeah. OK, so then here we land at this, like, this clip that we've just showed where you worked it into the storytelling of the show. It wasn't really going to include that element of your character. What was the conversation like between you and the showrunner, who I understand whose idea it was to incorporate it? Well, how did that conversation go? Yeah, I mean, I was going, I mean, I have to include it because I wear hearing aids, yeah. so it would be weird to do 13 episodes and never mention uh, it right. once. Viewers would be like, are they not going to talk about this? But, so I was going to talk about it, but uh, Jesse Gabe, the showrunner, who's incredible, uh, she was like, we should lean even harder on it because uh, you have a lot of funny stuff to say about it, and it will separate us from a lot of the other shows yeah. out there. So, yeah, I think she was absolutely right. I think the stuff we did include with it was, I think it's some pretty funny stuff. And people who have hearing issues will, I think they'll, they'll see themselves in it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and I think part of helping people see themselves in it is that you've also incorporated some of your own experiences into the writing, into playing of the show. What will, where will we see those? I mean, it's kind of like, it's not like every plot line is going to be like, this is about hearing aids right. or this isn't. It's such a part of who I am that it'll kind of like weave itself in and out of every storyline, whether, whatever it's about, my hearing aid will come into play just like they do in my, my everyday life. So you'll see it throughout the season in little ways and big ways too. What I love about, I grew up in a small town, and what I love about this is it takes those definite small town characters, but also a really good workplace comedy as well, because there's some great characters. What are some of your favorite moments of the show? Ooh, um, Oh, that's a good question. Well, there's an episode where I, I go on a date with a, a deaf woman, and but she's full deaf, so she signs and I can't sign, but I'm still trying to make it work because she's beautiful <laughs> and I really want to hang out with this girl. So it's a, it's a funny episode of just kind of uh, trying to overcome the commun communication barrier to, um, I, I would say to find true love, but it's, it's a little simpler than that, to, to hang out with this girl. Yeah, hey, yeah. beautiful woman. Tale as old as time. Yes. Uh, thanks so much for coming in this morning. Thank you. Thank Great you to have you here. Me. And a reminder for viewers, one more time premieres January 9th on CBC. We'll hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.